Hello, uh, welcome back to Surface Noise. Um, I'm John. Uh, today's video is uh, my contest entry into the Pretty Green Vinyl Guy uh, 1000 Sub uh, Contest. Uh, first of all, thank, uh, congrats Ed, Edwin on 1000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. So there's 10 questions. I will start with number one. First one is a song that makes you cry. I chose a Julian Baker's song. Uh, the song is Appointments, which is the second track there. Um, this song uh, basically, for me, starts off sounding very sad, but it builds up to sounding very desperate. Um, definitely has a lot of emotion in there, in there and that's basically why I picked that one and she is one of my favorite artists and everything. Everything she does seems to be uh, racked in emotion so that's my first choice. Number one. Secondly was a song with a place in the title. So I chose um, The National. It's one of my favorite bands if not my favorite band. Um, and the song I uh, chose, I don't know if you can see it on the back there, but it's called Not In Kansas. Not because I have anything to do with Kansas, but just because it's one of my favorite songs of theirs recently that, that has come out in the last few years. And I love the band. And yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a song with a place in the title. And yeah, I keep coming back to that song frequently. So. That is question two. Question three was a song with a color in the title. So I went with Neil Young and Crazy Horse. And the first title, the first song, My My Hey Hey, Out of the Blue. This is a classic record, of course. This is awesome. So I had to get some, uh, wanted to get some Neil Young in here, and that's how I did it. Um, so Number four, a song you would like to see made into a movie. I don't know if this is cheating, because uh, this is kind of a, a whole side of a record, but I chose Russia's 2112. Um, the whole side is one piece, really. Um, and the main reason I chose, uh, that's pretty cool. Hey. <laughs> main reason I chose this track was um, the first time I saw them live uh, I went with friends um, and I was only semi-familiar I was familiar with hit songs and stuff I liked them casually um, but I you know wasn't a hardcore fan and this was on the uh, Test for Echo tour and they were doing this album this album side the 2112 uh, side one uh, in its entirety and when my friends kind of, ex I'd never heard 2112, so when they explained to me what it was about, my first comment was, wow, that would make a good movie. So, kind of an obvious choice. <laughs> uh, next question is a song you would play for a friend who's never heard your favorite artist. Um, for this one, I'm actually going back to the National again. Um, and this is off of uh, High Violet, right here. Um, and the song is Vanderlyle, Crybaby, Geeks. Um, and to me, this is, the reason for this is, um, similar to my Rush experience, um, I was a fan of The National, but not, not a hardcore, um, until I saw them on the Trouble Will Find Me tour. That was the first time I'd seen them live. And there was a number of moments throughout that show that really made me become, uh, a hardcore fan of the band and um, the part of the show where they did Vanderlyle Crybaby Geeks um, all acoustically and I believe Frightened Rabbit actually came out and did it with them so there was the it was a, re a re really momentous thing but that that song really um, turned the corner for me as far as my fandom of the band and I think that that would be a song that I could play for somebody that would you know appeal to, to someone right away I think so that would be my choice next 
is a song with a boy girl name in the title so I went with some classic a, a, a uh, Canadian icon and that would be Leonard Cohen I'm actually gonna pull it out of the classic there. but if you look here you can see Suzanne and that's the cho my choice song Suzanne um, love love Leonard Cohen longtime fan of him and that definitely an it's iconic song um, of his one of his most recognizable songs and that is my choice for song with a boy and girl in the title next on the list is a song you would love to hear live now this is never gonna happen but it's something I would have liked to have seen um, so this is the Smiths um, the song I chose it was reel around the fountain you can see that there this is off the half this is half of the hollow obviously um, this is um, I believe that's uh, this actually is a live radio session version on this record but um, yeah I never got a chance to see them when they were performing which was obviously a short short period but um, that is my favorite track by them and that was that is something I would love to see live I would have yeah, again that's not gonna happen but it would have been awesome but such is life um, next is a first song you remember dancing to now, I can't specifically remember there was a lot of songs when I was first uh, dancing getting into uh, going to parties and weddings and things like that and, and dancing to music um, but a song I do remember it seems like I danced to quite a bit was Billy Idol and the song is Dancing with Myself. It seemed to be wherever I went back then when I was young. To, we were out there constantly playing that. That was the big one of the big songs back then when I was young. And uh, so I'm pretty sure if it's not the first, it's one of the earlier ones I, 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 uh, I danced to for sure. So that's my pick for first song even if it's not completely infallible, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, song you wanted to play at your funeral. Um, so I went with um, Kate Bush. Um, the song is the B-side actually, Under the Ivy. Um, this is my favorite Kate Bush song. Um, it is a, you know, slow balladish. Uh, song um there seems to be some sort of darker elements to it as well um you know meet me under the ivy and all this kind of thing it might have been i'm not sure i don't really know exactly what the meaning behind it is but for me it has that element to it it's not a super long song but it has that feeling that i think i would like if I was to choose a song for a funeral or for my funeral, I guess. That's what I would choose. Lastly, we have the question. Favorite song from your best concert experience? So I chose Sharon Van Etten. The track is A Crime. Um, so I chose this. Uh, mainly because this was my first time seeing Sharon Van Etten live. I've seen her a couple times. Um, you know, uh, when I saw her, actually, it was because I was in love. Was the song I heard the album I heard more. This had just Epic had just come out, so I had a little bit of listening to it. But she came out and she started the show with a crime, and it was so much more of a rock and roll thing than than the previous album had been um, and she really killed it really a, a amazing performance she was awesome and secondly after she finished her set because she was actually opening up for Juniper uh, Jose Gonzalez band um, so after her set she came to her merch table and she was selling stuff so I got to go over to the merch table got to talk to her about her I bought this actually. <laughs> I bought one well, kind vinyl from her there, and um, so that's kind of a cool experience for me. And the performance was amazing, and meeting her and talking to her was amazing as well. So 
that's that. That is my uh, 10 questions answered for the Pretty Green Vinyl Guys 1,000 subscriber contest. Once again, congrats, Edwin. Um, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to uh, enter the contest. And for everyone watching, have a great day.